first started filming this video, my plan was to use the three pieces of my electrical system to keep ice cream frozen long enough so that I could enjoy it after work. I'm still a little bit away from hitting the road, but this was as close as I could get to simulating uh, having to keep something cold for a long time and it's the biggest use of electricity I would ask out of this system. However, I hit a snag in the plan. When I tried to use the refrigerator and freezer, it took up most of the battery and that was about six hours. Now I know I couldn't keep my groceries and um, my stuff refrigerated and frozen overnight or especially if I was to park somewhere and like a camping spot and stay there for a while that wouldn't work. Why I chose this system, I really wanted a refrigerator and freezer, not just a fridge. And then I asked an electrician, what um, power do you think I need for that? And he recommended this size. I already pulled up the Jackery website and he told me this is what he recommended. And this is a Jackery Explorer 240 and this is a Jackery Solar Saga 60. But it still wasn't enough. I think the problem was that he thought the fridge could run by itself for a little while. However, you have to always have it plugged in. So first, the solar panel worked great. It charges up the power station factor faster than I even thought. Comes with all the cords you would ever think to use. This I really like too because it has uh, multiple places to plug stuff in, a display that makes things pretty easy, and I also liked the cooler itself. It took about two hours to fully cool down to the temperatures. There is an app on my phone that it was really easy to set up. I didn't have to make an account. They text me a password. I typed the password in. It was just scan something and you're good to go. So I really like that up until it started taking up so much power. My plan now is to use this stuff for the first couple weeks I'm on the road. Then I'm going on a hiking trip and I won't be using this stuff at all. And then when I come back from the hiking trip, I'll look into getting a bigger one of these. There's also a brand called Rockwell, which sells something similar, but that might be a little cheaper. So I'm gonna look into both of those too. When I do find a solution, either I find a trick to using this or I get something else, then I will up, send you an updated video and make it um, really easy to find from this video, either linking it now or at the end. So in conclusion, I like all this stuff separately, but it really doesn't work the best all together. If I was doing this again, I would get the next size up in this, which I believe is a 500. Thanks for watching and good luck with your own electrical system.